Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Tyranny as a Noble Mage. Welcome back, we are in our Spire in Vendrian's Well. I just had a talk with uh, Kills in Shadow, which was interesting, but we didn't get too much out of her because she isn't very loyal. And I also did a little bit of fiddling off screen. Mainly, I sold all the kind of crap that we had. We have way less now and we have... A good amount more money we now have four iron 62 um, bronze and 63 copper rings which should allow me to make some purchases oh I actually haven't sold these okay I'm sorry what about your leather gauntlets are these better yeah these are exactly the same right um, it's actually no reason to really keep these tight caster gloves with us they're not really a thing I have less recovery, but oh well. So let's talk with this dude and uh, show me what you have for sale. We're going to sell that stuff, um, both of it. Um, I was sort of keeping Siren's uh, clothes. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I've also been keeping these three for whatever reason. Uh, let's just sell that one as well. The other two might come in handy if we ever have to give Barrack some, some stuff. But yeah, let's sell, let's sell these now. Let's have a look. Um, Fate Binder's Shield. Is that better than what I have? They're exactly the same. That's fine, only that I would have to pay 30 copper stuff. So that's interesting. Fate Binder of Tune and Armor. What does that one do? Um, 0.5 second. Yeah, that is nowhere near as good as what I want. Light Armor. That's superior. I mean, the, the armor that I have now is pretty good. This is the cloth arm. It has less recovery. 0.2 seconds recovery. It actually has no recovery whatsoever. Um, yeah. I would like to look like a Fate Binder of Tunon, but I guess I can't make that happen, really. So I guess that's how it's going to be. Sigil of Proximate Action. We already know that one. So I guess there's, there's not much to buy in a way. Hmm, I guess I just live with the fact that that is the case. I mean, that shield is the same as the other one. I could just buy that one, swap it out, just for just for cosmetic reasons. I might. It might be a bit of a waste. Nah, I'll do it nonetheless. can sell the other one. Okay, well, at least I'll I'll fight in style then. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, Revis has nothing to sell to us. We could also buy stuff from Corpse Eye, maybe. Uh, let's see what's in stock. He's the guy who I sold all my crap to. We still have the Crimson Great Spear. Uh, and the Tearsman Spine Bow. What, what he also has is over here, the Crimson Spear Armor which is fairly nice. It has more armor, more slash fire armor, more crush armor. It has a little less pierce armor though, and less deflection, less recovery. So the deflection of this thing is really good actually. 14% deflection, uh, very low recovery. So I think I'm gonna keep that one. Just gonna keep that one. There's no real reason to go for anything else. These are also not as good. Uh, well, Crimson Spear Gauntlets might be better, maybe. Yeah, and these are exactly the same, the Scarlet Fury Gloves. I might buy that for someone else. What about the helmet? Nope. Yeah, well, that's just how it goes. So we won't get anything useful from him. That is all stuff that I sold. Um, we've already been sleeping here, so all that's really left to do is just um, talk with our guys over here, see well, if they have uh, anything new to say. Friend, just let me finish this thought. Ending his note with a flourish, Lantry licks the tip of the quill, pausing to taste it a second and third time, before tucking the pen in the horse on his sleeve. Um, no, I can just take him with me. That's all that I can do with him. Uh, what about verse? At your service, Fate Binder. Worst balls with an added flourish. What do you need? Um. Yeah, there's nothing in here either. What about the smith? Pity that I make weapons and never get to see the enjoyment you take. What do you need with Fate Binder? 
Do you have something for me? They only have the, the camping supplies. What I could do is... I could go and train a little bit. I could just go and train one-handed or parry or dodge or something. What would I need? I'm not very athletic. I could go and parry, uh, train some parry so that I don't get hit as much. Dodge is also useful. Um, the dodge skill defends against ranged attacks from bows, javelins or magic spells. Higher skill ranks will reduce damage taken and even cause enemies to miss their attacks altogether. So dodge spell seems very useful. We are pretty bad in terms of one-handed weapons. Problem is that this spire really doesn't help, so... I mean, I could go for this guy, go for parry, dodge, subterfuge. Or for this one, maybe. I Solon, skill trainer who teaches one-handed weapons, parry and athletics. That might not be bad. Um, Two-handed weapons, thrown weapons, parry and dodge. I'm not sure if I want to train two-handed weapons. I could train with the other guys, though. Mm. I need I need both dodge and parry. I'm gonna hire this guy, and I'm also gonna hire this guy. Next time I travel here, so I'll just travel away. Oh, I can't I can't travel out of there. Well, let's maybe just go down. Let's go into Ascension Hall. I wonder why I still have these waypoints. I wonder what I can do with it. Guess I could build stuff up, maybe. And I still have that sigil. Can I travel up there? Maybe that'll that'll do it for the trainers. Because I, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of a lot of um, level ups. Did we get the new guys? Yes, Isolon and Satus. So let's see what these guys have to say, and then we'll we'll train our guys up a little bit. A thin, sinewy man looks out to the horizon, legs firmly planted on the ground as he practices his strikes. His arms snap towards an invisible target in methodical fashion, alternating one after the other. He stops as you approach, an amused smirk on his face. And that fate mind is exactly what I'd advise you not to do. He laughs, punching the air again while adopting a cretinous expression. That may work when you've got a hundred stone shields at your back, but someone like you thrives with a little more creativity. What do you belong to? Lethian's Crossing? No. Okay. He stiffens up in mock formality, offering with the slightest of bows. That's where I come in. Or oh, so your generous sum of rings has led me to believe. No respect for the disfavored. On the contrary, I have all the respect and the tears for them. They just don't happen to care for it. He points toward the northern horizon. They are not fond of bastards, even if your mother happened to serve in the disfavored. My boyhood dreams were of joining the Legion and being cloaked in purple and iron, but now I spend my days dancing around fools that think a breastplate makes them a better fighter. He nods, satisfaction evident in his tone. I wouldn't have it any other way. How should one fight? Iron and bronze are crutches for the unskilled, and honors the delusion of the foolish. Remember that and use it ruthlessly to your advantage. I prefer to dance around my foes, tripping them with the weight of their own armor or stabbing them with their own blades. Even better, winning the fight before it starts. Walk around in my rags and seasoned warriors will hardly give you a second glance. Their years of training won't amount to much when their sword arm suddenly breaks or when their balls have been compressed into fine paste. I can teach you all about making that fine paste. I may not grace the pages of a sage's chronicle, but I'll make you laugh at night when you're counting your rings and downing your ale. I'd like to train. So what can you do? You can do a lot of unarmed combat. Hmm. I wouldn't mind gaining some more parry or even dodge. Yeah, let's go for some more parry. And Beric also needs to train more parry. Sirin. Training some parry is also not bad. And Ab, 
You're gonna train your dodge. You're gonna stay out of trouble. Right. My armor feels lighter. Oh, and Barry leveled up. Uh, Barrick leveled up. That's nice. Um, so let's give you... What are we gonna do with you? Um, yeah, let's go for the Defender's Watch, which is gonna unlock the next thing. Once per combat, when his health is critical, he will gain a significant armor bonus for a short time. That one is also nice. Take significantly reduced damage. Vigilant Protector. When he uses Bond of Honor, both Beric and the Tark gain a damage absorbing shield for a short time. The Stage 2 of the Phalanx is also very good. And Shield of Suffering. Heal all nearby allies and gain a damage absorption shield proportionally to the health recovered. What does that one do? That has a 1 minute cooldown. Okay, good. Let's go for this one. Save it. Yes. Uh, and your attributes. We have one point. Uh, what should we do next? Um, might. So that you do more damage. We don't really have you for the damage. Uh, quickness, maybe. That's going to increase your dodge. Or that one. That's going to increase your parry. How's that? How's, how's parry calculated? Finesse and wits. I think that one's finesse. Yes. Um, yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Save it. And uh, that also means that I can train him a little bit more. Back for more. To back for more. I see. You won't learn if I hold anything back. Be ready, Fate Binder. So, Beric, you can. What? No, dude. You just leveled up. Weird. Weird. Let's talk about Isolon. Fate by the truck. The stone shield strengthens to attention, surprise and interest lighting his features. It's an honor to meet you. He pounds a fist against his chest, back rigid, rigid with pride. Hail, Isolon. The soldier's dark eyes brighten with cunning. Perhaps you have come to me in need of combat training? Um, what were your duties in the disabled army before you joined me here? As a drill master, it was my job to train the recruits how to handle the weight of our armor, how to swing a sword without getting your head lopped off. Usually the basics, but sometimes more. What do you think of Graven Ash? I'd follow him to the ends of the realms, if that's what you're asking. I owe him my life, and more. The stone shield taps his armor with thick, dirty fingers, indicating a spot on his lower abdomen. He took a spear the size of my fist. That's when my insides fell out. I could feel the blood pouring out of me, leaving me real fast. That sort of wound, it's the kind men don't come back from. But Graven Ash, he brought me back. I could make sure you don't come back. <laughs> Man, that's mean. No. Surely impressed if you survived. Soldier ducks his head, slightly abashed. You can be damn sure I learned how to properly shield after that. You sound pretty devoted. Most served the commander their whole adult life, and I'm glad to say I'm no different. I enlisted on the 13th year of my birth. Soldier smiles at a far gone, a perhaps fond memory. Mother cried for me. Show me what you got. Okay. Yeah, no more no more training for me. Annoying. Oh well, at least we got some training done. Uh, that's better than nothing. Uh, and I think we'll I think we'll we'll uh, fag off now. I think we're done here. So let's go and I think we'll try to get the sword. I think we'll try to get the legendary sword of the unbroken before we go into the breach. So let's try it. It's forbidden by Kairos's law, but I mean, I gotta do this somehow. And I'd rather have it for myself than give it to them. Hmm. Okay, we got that disfavored. We got Bane here. And steady. Mm, not too happy with all that. Right. So these are wisps. They have no magic damage uh, defense whatsoever. They have some shock defense though. Um, elemental strength. Minus 100% shock damage taken. Plus 100% fire damage taken. Right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit them with fire. Fight them with fire. That's That's what we're going to do. Um, let's go, let's give Beric that one, and Beric, you might go and try to petrify them. Oh, no, wait, we're gonna do this. 
Gonna pull them all on Beric. Okay, some of them are taunted. There's another guy, but he doesn't seem to attack here. Um, tell you what I'll do. I'll use my I'll use my fire whip for this one. Um, Ab, you could use your fire spell over here. Okay, Siren, I don't necessarily need you to go into um, melee fights. I think we're gonna try to abstain from this. Okay, we've got the twisting flame. Some of them are down. Let's go for the let's go for another fire attack over here. Um Ebb, don't you have anything fiery left? Not really. Well the rhyme spike will have fire on it as well, so I think I that's it. I think that's okay. Okay, and they're dead. That's that's fine, I guess. I gained some more fire control. That's nice. Um, let's save it. Moving cautiously. And uh, let's move in. He still has the fire aura, but it's going down quickly. Very quickly, in fact. Oh, holy crap! There are a lot of bane. That's malice. Hmm. Yeah, really would, don't want to confront these guys um, together with the others. So why not just throw a fire one on these? What's with these guys? They have minus 100% fire damage taken, plus 100% frost damage taken. So I gotta gotta keep that one in mind. Oh no! I hope we haven't pulled all of them. Um, Beric. Pull all of them together. Pull them on you. You will go and try to petrify. Take me if you can. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Come on, get back. Get it. back, you fool. Get back, you fool. Um, these guys are very vulnerable to frost, so let's make that one happen. Siren should be singing. Um, yeah, you're still busy trying to, to petrify. Siren, let's go for the rhyme spike. Let's take both of them, I think. That's a wisp. Okay, so he's gonna take more fire damage. Um, I don't have any fire damage left currently. Let's go for the Phantom Bolt here. And Ab, you're gonna go for that one. And Siren. Yeah, what do we have? The Electric Jolt? No, let's go for that one. Will do. Okay, that looks good. I think I'm gonna go for the fire whip. Oh, I never have any, don't have that anymore. But let's go for the boulder. That might not be bad. Um, let's try to petrify them. And Ebb, you're done. Fire is not gonna help you because these guys are immune to fire. So let's go for the phantom bolt here. I will aid you. So, looking forward to the boulder and its effects. Okay. <laughs> that was nice. What can I do? What do I have in terms of attacks? Yeah, I can, I'm just gonna petrify them. They're still stunned, which is nice because they don't do any damage. Um, these guys should take double frost damage, right? Yeah, 100% frost damage. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's go for the Frozen Grasp here. Siren, you don't have your Frost up, so go for the go for the the Shock for now. And uh, you have your Frost up, so do. let's go for this one. That should that should end them fairly handily now. Come on, Rhyme Spike. A new dent. Okay, they're down. Um, 
Now let's have a look at these guys. That looks supremely creepy. These are scourges. These are malice. What do they have? 100% shock damage taken. Okay. Minus 100% frost damage taken. Aura of malice. Removed one random beneficial effect. In a radius of 3 meters. Okay. Man, that's a lot of these dudes. That's a lot of them. Let me have a look. Let me have a look at my spells. She might be able... Could sort of get rid of this Territus Light. We're not using these cone spells that much. Uh, we're also not using the Healing Aura all that much. I mean, it's useful, but... I'm missing a Shock spell. To be perfectly frank. I have 130 lore now, though. No one in your party can learn the spell. What? Why? What's happening? Guess we're gonna guess we're gonna bring these guys out of there. Um, is there some plundering to do? Yes, there is. So let's plunder. What's that one? Scarlet notebook. A red spiral is carved upon the wooden cover of this papyrus notebook. The handwriting within is haphazard and in inscrutable. The work of an unpracticed, poorly trained wordcaster. A few entries contain recognizable sentences, and the book appears to be the journal of a Scarlet Chorus commander detailing troop movements. Times and locations are noted alongside numbers and pictures of trees, stick figures, and rocks. The author either didn't know the words for lumber, or and people, or just felt more comfortable with pictures than words. While much of the journal is inscrutable, the corner of every page has the day's headcount for the author's brigade. While some days note dozens of losses, the brigade appears to be recruiting far faster than its members are dying or deserting. Okay, that's something. Okay, we've got all that stuff. There's a lot more bodies to loot, if we can take out the Bane. Which I think we should. Quite down. Okay, yeah, I, w I was just busy doing my spells over here. I could actually go for more, so that's not quite in range, but I could go for the accuracy for that one. So let's go for that one, ball lightning. Uh, that one can take another 15, so let's go with this one, mantle of flames. Um, that one already has everything applied that I have. That one could go for more damage. Have more fire damage. That's that's fine and dandy. Um, the rhyme spike. Yeah, we definitely want this with. Oh no, we can't do it. So let's go for the accuracy then. Let's update that one. This one could have bigger area of effect. Doesn't do it. 135. Let's go for the accuracy. It's not really needed. Then we've got the the boat bigger range it's just five more and then i can upgrade that one that's good to know here we're gonna go for the accuracy to 130 could go for more range as well no that's not quite there yet okay let's go for it and then we've got this one so we can add 20 i think we might just want to add more more fire damage that's quite a bit so let's update that one and then we've got the boulder nothing I can add over here that would be too complicated for me but what I do want to add is a is an electric jolt because I'm actually quite handy with uh, shock where is it control lightning that's still my best skill just no well control fire is technically the best skill but main, mainly because of the fire stone um, oh and frost yeah frost is my best one now um, don't know, don't know. Which one do I get? Want to get rid of? I might just get rid of the flash to stone, but it's really useful. It's supremely useful. I think I'll get rid of the healing aura. Um, so we'll go for lightning. I'm gonna go for this one, and then we're gonna slap a bunch of stuff on it. Basically, all that I have. <laughs> yes, I mean the bleeding won't be able to to be put on there, but everything else I can. 
can do that. So let's do it. And I'm going to give the healing aura to her. We're going to take away this one, the Territus Light. Because the cone, these cone spells, I'm not using them much, so I might as well go for the healing aura. So each each one of these can do some buffing, uh, which is useful. You won't be able to do this with any sort of accent, but it's fine. Right, so that's that one's done. Now, let's save it and let's try to remove these bane. I really we haven't been encountering we haven't been encountering these bane very much, so I'm not sure I like them. Might be able to maybe pull them towards us. What's that one? That's something plunderable. I guess there's the sword in there. So, hmm. Let me let me try something here. Let me try something here. How far will that one reach? Yes, that looks okay. That looks okay, so go for it. Right, so now they are awake. Um, I will apply the Mantle of Flames on Beric. Beric, move into the breach. We're gonna have Sirin, uh, uh, Ab. Ab, you're gonna apply the Healing Aura. Sirin, you're gonna apply the, um, that one over here. But I think I pulled that one out. So, yeah, you, you put that one on him. And then we'll see how it goes. Your death awaits. No, 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 no. Uh, Beric, pull all these guys on you. Go on. Take me if you can. Okay, so they're taunted. They should go after Beric now. Um, not too happy that I'm, that I'm in here. But let's, let's put the, the core on there as well. Um, let's do that one, and Sirin. These guys don't like frost, so why not go for the rhyme spike then? If you think it will help. Take that. Okay, some of us are frightened. Am I frightened? I don't think so. Um, I think I'll have to give the. Oh yeah, I could use that one. That might be useful, the Chaos Blast. People are disengaging. Are you frightened? Yeah, you're terrified, confused. You're taking disengage damage. That's all not very good. Trying to run away. Yeah, he's he's getting it. He's really getting it. And I'm getting it as well. God damn it. Drink your potion, dude. And you're gonna... No, come on, Beric. Oh, I can't control him. I guess because he's too frightened for this for this whole endeavor. Mm. They they have no problem with fire damage, but maybe I can just remove them with rhyme spike. Take that one away at least. Uh, wait, no, we're gonna heal me because I look like I might keel over and die Not soon. Okay, haven't I haven't I done my my cosmic ray stuff now? Let me go for the for the shield so that I don't um, keel over. Are you still terrified? Yeah, you're still terrified, so I can't do anything there. Um, Searing could do something though. Maybe, maybe. Let's just go for the electrical jolt over there. Okay, that one's down. That one is down. What am I doing? Why am I running straight at them? What I could do... What I could do is just go for this. Use the electrical jaw to bring them down. Beric is no longer frightened, I think. Yeah, he is, but he's not. He's no longer confused, I mean. Right. So that's looking good. Okay, they're down. Siren is moving up. We could go for the jolt. We could also try to petrify one of them. So try it. Try it. Let's hope we don't pull any more of them. Because that wouldn't be good. What do they have? What, what kind of defense? They take no frost damage. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's go for the phantom bolt. Let's go for the phantom bolt there. 
Barrack is running up. Let's try to do this. Come on, guys. Frozen. One of them is frozen, I guess, because they have been hit critically by Ab. Yes, indeed. Very good. Even though they, even though they mm, take frost damage well. That's interesting. Um, you don't have any sort of spell that does shock damage. That's pretty crappy. Let's try to drown them then. Is that is that frozen damage? No, that's just water damage. Drowning for some seconds. That's good. Okay. I'll take care of it. I'm done with the grave light thing. What else can I do? I could go for the boulder. That might hit both of them if I aim it like that. Come on, guys. One of them is stunned. I guess the boulder didn't work. Maybe it should have. Let's go for the fire then. Um, Ebb. Move up. Move up. Go for this one. These guys really shouldn't be happy to see Ebb here. Um, Fireball. Is it jolt up? No, it isn't. Uh, let's go for the fire then. They're gonna take some fire damage. Gonna take shock. Okay, let's mage fire. That did something. Is the aura up? No, it isn't. Let's go for this one then. Some more fire damage. Okay. Ab, what are you doing? Let's bring more fire damage to the table. Barrick, you definitely need to heal yourself, dude. Not a problem. Okay, that happened. The rhyme spike, it's not gonna do anything, but maybe I can petrify them. Do. That might not be a bad idea. And Siren, you still have that one up, so let's go for that one. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Barrack is on low health now. He's ha he has been, been healed up, I guess, by himself or by his ability. Healing Wisps critically heals Barrack, so he healed himself. That's good. Um, other than that, we really have no way of going after them now. I mean, I could use the Rhyme Spike. It's not going to do any damage, though. It's going to be ineffective. Ab, use your Phantom Bolt again. And Siren. You do have enough breath to do As you wish. a song now, so let's go for the... Aria of Force. It's gonna do a good amount of crush, crush damage. Well, move up and try the crush damage now. Good. That should do it. Come on, guys. One of them is petrified now. That's good. Barrick is on very low health. Um, he could drink something, but he's already wounded. I think we'll, I think we'll manage this fight without him having to drink anything. Don't know my own strength. Okay. Um. Anything else? No. So let's switch to the dagger and let's go into melee mode. Okay, they've been pushed away by by Siren. That's interesting. And then we got Ebb. Let's go for the drowning effect again. Or do you have anything better? No. Well, you do have the concussive bolt. So let's go for that one first. Beric, heal yourself instead of running after you. them. <laughs> My armor is dented. Let me repair it. Come on. Do something. Do something, Beric. Heal yourself. Yes. Okay, that worked. And uh, then I can finish them off with the jolt. That should that should work because they are very susceptible to the jolt. Come on. Didn't work. I missed them. Really? From point blank range, dude. That's that's rather weak. It's a hit. That will will be up. Oh no. Okay. It's already dead. Fine, and that is basically all the um, all the screen. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff to loot. Uh, what's that one? Bane Essence, plus seven armor, arcane. Okay, let's take that stuff. Let's take this stuff. Nothing interesting in there yet. Just some roots and berries and stuff, I guess. Some more potions. More potions. What are these? Um, fatiguing toxin. Interesting. Okay, some health. Health potions. Corroding potion. 
Yeah, let's take the sword now, eh? Nice! <laughs> Dauntless. Does more DPS than harm's way. Has a little bit more recovery, less accuracy. Um, One-handed. Masterwork. Does 16 to 20 slash pierce damage. That's plus 10 accuracy. One-handed weapon skill. Um, this legendary sword was the badge of office for the champion of Stalwart. So many warriors brought Dauntless to battle over the centuries that the presence of the wielder was often less notable than that of the sword itself, which steered the hopes of Stalwart's armies toward victory. Even in instances when a champion lacked the people's confidence, Dauntless made up for their shortcomings by delivering on the promise of victory. The sword's most notable feat of recent memory took place during the Battle of Quelling Field in 398... Um, TR, Teratos, uh, no, um, yeah, Teratos reign, something. A free city army advanced on Stalwart's farmlands and nearly won the day. When Dauntless was unsheathed, the defending soldiers broke out in patriotic cheer. This abrupt change of attitude so rattled the free city's mercenaries that they assumed their fortunes had changed and that Stalwart had gained a second wind in the battle. It was only days after their panicked retreat that they learned of their error. Consequently, the cultural significance of this blade cannot be underestimated. That will give them a serious blow. Resolute. On weapon crit, foe AoE. Um, everyone in a radius of two meters gets dazed. We can unlock something. Stellwood Surge. Raise the Dauntless high, releasing a wave of energy to stun all nearby enemies. Damage increases with the Dauntless's renown. So, I guess the more enemies this one kills, the more powerful it becomes. I guess. Coolio! Should we give this to Beric? Or should I wield that one myself? It's way better than what he's currently uh, wielding. I mean, I would like to take that for, for myself though. Do I really need the accuracy? It's gonna push up the recovery time a little bit. I'm not using it much though. I'm not using it much though. I, I do have to mull that over a little bit. Um, let's give it to Beric for now, but I... As your hand touches the hilt of the sword, a rush of sensation courses up your arms as if you had dunked them in warm water. The feeling is at once calming and overwhelming and leaves you breathless. Dauntless. I saw that blade carve up too many friends during the stalwart campaign. The locals rallied around it, sang anthems when it was drawn. It's every bit as meaningful to the unbroken as sentinel stand. Well, fuck me with Kairos's cock. That... It's dauntless you're holding. Famed blade of the regions of Stalwart. There's a lot of history behind that sword, although most everyone who cared about that history is probably dead. But focus on the positive. What a charming new toy you found! As you grow accustomed to the sword's weight, your thoughts are drowned out by a perpetual buzz of voices. Fragments of inspiring speeches, glorious battle cries and the anticipation of triumph to come. The feeling quickly subsides as subsides as quickly as it struck. Dauntless pulses in your hand, its potential desperate for release. Your perspective is divided between holding a sword and holding a living symbol. The distinction at times grows hazy. Nice, so we gained a really, really powerful artifact. Slow and steady. Extremely happy that we gained that one. I will just uh, sort of sneak around the area. Uh, come on, guys. Sorry, I can't. Well, I guess I'll do that um, in between episodes. So I'm going to end it here. Next time, well, we'll return to the Spire shortly to sort of get our health back up and get to the Spire rest bonus again. And then we'll move into the Breach and try to get that artifact that um, will allow us to get into Sentinel Stand. But for now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, do let me know if you want me to uh, will Dauntless myself. It is a masterwork thing, so maybe I should just take it. Uh, even though we get less accuracy, we should be we should be fine. I got the reputation ability un unlocked. So, what does that one do? What does that one do? Reputation ability unlocked. Is it is it dauntless? Yeah, artifact. So you equipped a powerful artifact. I get the stalwart surge once per rest. 
Um, full AoE versus Endurance. Enemies get stunned. That's super useful. So I think we'll we'll keep it for ourselves, I think. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.